I'm just doing a quick video here. Moving this uh, little five frame nuke over to a full size 10 frame. I pulled one of my old boxes that I'd had a dad out. Clean everything up here. here a little bit that ought to be pretty good now we're gonna move our box onto a bottom board I've taken out some of the frames in the middle that way the five frames from the nuke I can sit down in there without rolling any bees um, I'll probably take one more frame out that way I can get five of them in and then add the additionals I got the nuke sitting right behind the edge of the camera here so rather than having to move it i'll just pick up a frame at a time show you what we're looking at and get everything moved into the, the 10 frame box don't forget to put my entrance reducer on the front Get a reduced screen. Now we'll see about getting some bees out of this nuke and start moving frames over. Make sure our queen ain't in the lid. But she ain't. Whenever I move the frames out of the nuke into the new box, I'm going to make sure that they stay in the same order that they were taken out in. That way, everything's in the right place for them. They know where they got all their pollen stored, honey, and the brood. So everything stays in the same order. I ain't going to take too long on this. I'm just going to look real fast just see if I spot the queen Got several drones in here walking around put that frame there I'm slide this one over so when I'm done I could put a frame on the outside instead of sliding one down next to the new uh, frames I'm putting in keep from rolling anybody A nice little brood pattern in here. Like the same thing on the other side. Uh, don't see the queen on this frame. This one here, when we checked it, I don't know, a day or two ago, whatever. This is the one that had uh, the white queen in it. We got a little more brood here. More brood on this side. She's brooding up pretty good. As I'm pulling these frames out of the uh, nuke box, I am kind of scanning in the bottom of the box and on the side walls. Try to make sure I don't see the queen down in there. I did blow a little smoke in. And sometimes when you hit that queen with smoke, she wants to go all the way to the bottom. Try to hide from you. This is the frame I can't turn over too far. It's natural wax and they still haven't connected the bottom. And I'm not seeing the queen on that one there either. They got all the foraging beads flying on the front of the hive. Trying to figure out where their little blue box was. And we got a 
because you'd say a pinkish red box on there now. But their pheromone will start coming out the front entrance pretty soon and they'll learn, hey, this is where we're supposed to be and they'll come on in. All right, here's a queen right here. Right here at the bottom of the frame to your right. Put her down in here real gentle. Slide on over. And rather than putting a frame in this spot right here, pushing down there to take a chance of rolling cuffs, especially since that's the one the queen was just on, we're going to move these two frames over. And then we'll I'll slide a frame down on the outside. To keep from rolling anybody, making them mad. And I got one wanting to buzz my veil here. Let's see. I got another wax foundation right here. This is wired wax foundation. Let's see. And that one here is drawn out a little more. That's a plastic foundation, but it's already drawn out all the way. These still got a little on the bottom, but they'll get to it. I'll put it on the outside here. And I'll compress all these frames to the center so they can get to the outside walls. And that's pretty much it. Walk right over here. I'll grab my inner cover and my top telescoping cover. We'll get them put onto this hive. And that's pretty much it. Well, I'll tell you what. I was going to put the little nuke box in the front door. Just leaned up against the front, let all the bees come out but it's getting a little late some of these might be nurse bees and they might not want to come out too fast so I don't know how good you can see in here but I'm gonna bounce all these down and I don't want to turn the whole box upside down because it does have a little trash in the bottom from the wax cap ends and I don't want that falling in the new box so I'm just gonna bounce them down and try to roll them out Make sure I ain't squishing nobody under there. I'm going to dump all these on the front door. Let them roll up against the bottom board and then any trash they can dust off from there. I think I've kind of moved the box a little bit. Yeah, they probably wasn't too happy with me on that, but... I'd rather them be a little upset with me for now. Rather than getting all that trash in their hive. Let's see if I can get some of this trash out first and then I'll see if I can finish dumping some out. We're getting some of this out of there. Eh, it looked like enough. I mean, any little stuff, I'll try to dump it to the front. That way, I can push it straight out the door. There we go. I right, can see everything out here. We'll go around the front of the hive and see how they're looking if they're trying to go in. Well, like some of them kind of going in and out the entrance, so that's a good sign. Pheromones are being spread and they know their new home. And now that they're in the new box.
in order to fill this out pretty quick and hopefully another I don't know two or three weeks the brood that's in here will be hatched out they'll have some more cap being ready to hatch and hopefully let's see maybe about the end of the month we'll do a split on these and put them into another box and give a little sneak peek of a video that we'll have soon ain't ready yet but Ricky Rourke from Horizontal Bees come in from North Carolina and brought me a little gift this is a queen mating nuke I can make anywhere from two wide long hives horizontal hives you can break it down into three 10 frame hives just by moving these divider boards I can break it down into six five frame nukes or I can break it down even more than that and have an entrance up here and the entrance down in the bottom and you can make 12 two frame queen mating nukes which I believe part of these I'm going to do probably about half five frame nukes and then I'm going to do some queen mating nukes this year um, I'm still working on setting up my cell builder and we'll get some sails put in once they uh, go into the builder and they're capped I'll transfer them into the two frame nukes after they in two frame nukes then we'll just wait on them to hopefully go out and do the mating flight come back in uh, mated and see if we can get some new colonies started <laughs> 